Welcome to 5 Minute Physics. This video is about magnets and magnetic fields. So let's start with the basics. Hopefully you should know that every magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. Interestingly, if you cut a magnet in half, you don't get a north pole by itself. You just get two smaller magnets. Magnets will exert a force on other magnets. Like poles repel each other, so two norths will repel or push each other apart. And to coin a phrase, opposites attract. So opposite poles, our north pole and our south pole here, will attract each other and they'll be pulled together. Groundbreaking news? Mm, no, nah, maybe not. Magnets also exert a force on other materials. Magnetic materials, we call them. And they're listed down the side here. Iron, steel, which is mostly iron to be fair, nickel and cobalt. Magnetic materials are only ever attracted by magnets. They're never ever repelled. So what makes material magnetic? Well, when it's brought close to a magnet, a magnetic material temporarily becomes a magnet itself. The proper term is induced magnetism. The two closest poles of our magnet, our permanent magnet and our induced magnet are always opposite to each other. So they always attract. If you look at the nail, it has a north pole at the bottom and a south pole at the top. And the south pole is closest to the north pole of our permanent magnet. So they will be attracted together. When the permanent magnet is removed, then the induced magnet quickly loses its magnetism and goes back to just being a normal lump of, well, in this case, steel. Around every magnet is a magnetic field. This is just the area where a magnetic force is exerted. And the field is shown by field lines or flux lines. The closer the flux lines are together, the stronger the field is. So this field would be stronger than the one before. Also, it's worth looking and noticing that at the poles, the field lines come much closer together, the flux lines are tightly packed. That means the field is strongest at the two poles of the magnet. And if you think about it, that's why we tend to pick up things with the end of a magnet. The field's stronger there. Notice the arrows as well. On the flux lines, there are always arrows pointing from north to south along the line. And these show the direction that a north pole would be pushed by the magnetic field. Field lines can be mapped using a plotting compass. A compass needle is just a small bar magnet which can pivot freely. This means it lines up with the magnetic field along with the flux lines, always pointing towards the south pole. To map the field, we just move the compass to different positions around the magnet, making a note of where the needle points each time. We also use compasses to navigate. The Earth has a magnetic field caused by convection currents of molten iron deep within the core, and conveniently, the poles of this magnetic field line up roughly with the Earth's axis, so compasses point north. Hmm, spotted the problem yet? Compass needles point towards the south pole of a magnet, yet on Earth, compasses point north. Turns out that the Earth's magnetic field is upside down. If we think of the Earth as a giant magnet, then its south pole would be up where the polar bears live, at the geographic north pole of the Earth and the magnetic north pole will be down where the penguins are in Antarctica at the geographic south pole. Sound confusing? Well, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Hopefully this diagram makes it a little bit clearer. So, to summarise. Magnets have north and south poles, and the magnetic field around the magnet is strongest close to the poles. If we bring two poles together, they will attract if they're opposite poles, or they'll repel each other if they are like poles. If we place a magnetic material in a magnetic field, then it becomes an induced magnet. And it will only ever be attracted by other magnets. Inside a compass, there's a small bar magnet, and that magnet interacts with other magnetic fields. And this allows us to plot magnetic fields and to find magnetic or north on Earth in order to navigate. Thanks for watching this five minute physics video. Please subscribe and check out our other videos for simple five minute lessons on GCSE physics.